Hello everybody, it's Tatib here from Tatib105.com, which is currently in progress. Today I'm going to be showing you a software called Prezi. Prezi is a piece of web-based software which is uh, a, rem a resemblance rather of uh, Microsoft PowerPoint. What Prezi uh, pretty much allows you to do is create your own little PowerPoint slide sort of thing um, with this piece of web-based software. Now. Uh, for this software, you will need to sign up for a free account. It also has paid accounts which uh, give you a lot more features, but the free account is working for me. So to sign up, what you want to do is go to sign up now under create astonishing presenta presentations uh, live and on the web. Once you have signed in, what you want to do is go to the top where you have the Your Prezi's tab, Learn and Explore tabs, and you want to go ahead and click on the Your Prezi's tab. Once you're over there, what you want to do is um, create a Prezi by clicking on New Prezi. And you can title it whatever you want. I will name it Tutorial Monday Prezi and the description is going to be Demo Prezi. Once I'm done, go ahead and click on New Prezi and you see this very attractive loading screen. I really like this loading screen. I don't know, I don't know why, but whatever. Alright, so over here you've got this screen. You can go ahead and close it. It's a tutorial on Prezi. So it says click anywhere to add text, but over here we have a zoom button so we can zoom in and out by the zoom button or scrolling with our keyboard. And we can also drag around the canvas. And over here are your options. And it says click here anywhere to add text. So, shall we? So I've clicked and I will type in TutTube 105. Now you have various orientations, uh, not orientations, positionings of the text rather. And I'm going to select the one that suits my preferences and go ahead and click on OK. And um, once you're done, um, you've got your little text over here, and it may seem a little small. Don't worry, we can edit that with a very cool feature. Now over here, you've got the Prezi uh, uh, highlight. Basically, in the middle of the circle with those little five bars, you can move the um, image around. And with the outer three bars, you can make the image bigger or smaller, or the text in this case. And with the outside bar, you can actually rotate the text 360 degrees. This provides for easy editing of the text. Alright, so that's what I want the text to look like. And now I'm just going to add in a couple of other texts to go with the topic that little Prezi I'm going to create for you guys. So here's the reviews, and here's me kind of playing around with the reviews and trying to get it into a nice position. You can have it upside down because the way Prezi transitions to it is pretty cool. So um, that's why I have it in various different ways. Now there have unboxings, which I'm going to increase a bit and rotate it a bit. I'm trying to look for the perfect rotation here. What will be good? And now I'm going to add in tutorials, which is another text. And you can move it around with the box as well. And click on OK. And you can drag it to, without the little uh, Prezi thing, that uh, the editor tool as I'm going to refer to it in the rest of the video. And now for colors and fonts, you have lots of colors and fonts and you have their own theme wizard which you can create your own little um, background or font or layout with. Um, but as you can see over here I put a theme and it looks really nice. Uh, and the way the gradient flows in looks really nice. You can't really see what text like these or fonts like these. But with something like this what I'm going to show you right here is a nice gradient flow which gives a nice transition to the text. Right now you can click on frame and actually put a frame around an object. I do not need to do that at this point. And over here you can go ahead and click on insert to insert a 
file on your computer. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Find a file on my computer, which is actually going to be a picture file. And that's my picture file. I'm going to choose and click on open. So it's opening up the file, downloads it, and as you can see, it's rather huge. So what I'm going to do is size it down using the uh, editing tool. And rotate it a bit so it looks nice and fancy, all nice and dandy. And that looks good enough. So I'm going to mess around with my other texts here just a bit just to get a nice effect in the end. Now over here you can go to shapes and add shape, but I don't need that for this uh, present. And now I'm going to show you how to make a little pad, which will basically be how it transitions to your text and images. So basically what you do, you click on your next item and you can, that'll be number two. And say I didn't want to touch one five is number two. I could drag that dot to reviews and now that is number two. And I can click on tutorials if I wanted to, but I actually want unboxings uh, third and tutorials fifth. So I just clicked on tutorials there and that's what my path is going to look like. And I'm, I want uh, touchy one five to come third again, just because the, I want the little logo two times so I can go ahead and click on show and with these little arrows at the bottom um, you can switch between the different slides which were automatically created and as you can see as I click on the different slides here or the arrows it takes me to the various different slides I have set and as you can see that's the transition I was talking about as it rotates and adds for a nicer effect in my opinion and there we're back to do one five to get out of that you can just hit spacebar now I'm going to insert a YouTube video. So um, what you want to do is click on YouTube and post a YouTube video link. Once you're done, oh, click OK. Uh, caution though, uh, for YouTube videos you will need internet connection to play the Prezi. And now you can zoom in and out of it and rotate it. So the file isn't downloaded, it's uh, still online based, um, but in the free version, uh, that that's the case. However, in the paid version, that is not the case. It actually downloads the video file if you wanted to. Now I'm going to put the uh, video file also in the path. I know this may be a bit confusing, but I do apologize for it, as this is a bit of a more advanced tutorial if you are an advanced computer user, or even anyone that really doesn't use computers much and want to learn how to use something other than PowerPoint. So basically, I'm going to go through the slides here again. So there's my logo. And there's the video, which will automatically load and it plays the video and it'll play to whatever whenever I want so if I want I can go to the next frame so say this is about when I want to stop the video I can go and click on the next and it'll take me to the next slide and it'll um, take me to the other slides until I'm done again to escape the screen you can go ahead and hit your space bar and now you can also save this, um, which is really cool. It will be saved uh, using a Prezi software, which is um, a very nice piece of software. Basically, what it'll do is a Prezi file, and the Prezi program will play it. Um, no other program as of now will play it, so you will need the Prezi software that uh, will be saved with this file. Now, the files do turn out to be rather large. A project like this would be around 18 megabytes, which is rather long, but um, it's a really cool piece of software, way easier to use than PowerPoint, in my point, and thank you for watching the first episode of Tutorial Monday.